Sylvain Bureau, thanks for joining us on Xerfi Canal. You are an associate professor at ESCP Europe and you are an expert of the concept of the improbable. This concept, you've been working on it with teams at Stanford University, at the Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris, and also with the famous venture capital firm Mistletoe in Japan. So, first question, could you tell us more about this concept, the improbable? Yeah, so the improbable is a big challenge today. Uh, let's take the case of the um, election of President Trump. Uh, the Brexit in the UK or the Yellow Vest movement in France, all these situations were highly improbable. And it's hard to predict these situations. It's not like when you play the lottery, for instance, you, you face a risk. You have one chance out of 36 million to win. Um, but these uh, situations were completely uh, unpredictable and highly implausible. And many markets work the same way. So you have more and more new competitors, uh, you know, Facebook, Airbnb, blah, blah, car, you name them, uh, who completely disrupted markets. Uh, today, one statistic, if you take the case of the Standard & Poor's Index in the USA, uh, in the 60s, the life expectancy of companies uh, was 60 years old. Today, it's less than 20 years old. So uh, the big challenge is how not only to reproduce what you have been doing, not only to improve what you have been doing, but completely rethink the way you do things uh, and, uh, and, and produce, fabricate the improbable. You have developed some uh, methods to build this improbable. Could you tell us more about these methods? Yes, so I basically try to compare what artists were doing and what entrepreneurs are doing. Uh, because artists are really good at creating the improbable and make sense out of that. Um, so I designed this method called Art Thinking. Art Thinking is a method to help you create the improbable with certainty. So we don't need you to be creative. Uh, you follow the method and you're going to be creative uh, for sure. Mm. Um, so we, uh, our thinking is, is complementary to design thinking. Design thinking is really focusing on the users. Uh, business thinking is also focusing on the clients. We don't care about the clients. We don't care about the users. What we care for is you as a creator. Uh, we care for the fit between you and your project. Because we know that if, you know, for instance, this commercial, uh, this commercial alone, um, even it's a great product, a great opportunity is not enough. You need to connect it with this magazine to create the authority. Uh, same is true with your project. If it's not connected with you, it's not connected with your passion, your ecosystem, it won't work. Our thinking helps you focus on this creation of a fit between you and your passions and your project. So what are the entrepreneurial techniques that uh, we can learn through art thinking? So art thinking, we, we teach this method in, in, uh, in various uh, uh, contexts. So for entrepreneurs, uh, students, executives, uh, we did it in, in 10 countries. Uh, and basically it's working because we focus on the practices. Uh, so people can create uh, interesting pieces of art that are improbable but still making sense for them. Uh, and uh, we uh, focus on practice like the deviation. So for instance, Marcel Duchamp in the 1917 deviated a urinal to create this famous piece, The Fountain, and the purpose was to challenge the existing context in the art world at that time, where pieces were supposed to be aesthetics, were supposed to be highly technical. And he wanted to make a joke and challenge uh, his peers. It worked very well. Uh, and the same is happening in uh, the entrepreneurial world. So for instance, uh, um, uh, Adam Neumann, uh, who created WeWork, a massive co-working space that you can find you know, in 500 uh, cities today, uh, get inspired by his history, his roots, uh, because he's connected to uh, Israel and the kibbutz, where you know people work and live together, where informality is highly important, where they connect uh, through uh, informal social networks. And he wanted to replicate uh, these elements uh, in the uh, world of New York City originally. So he deviated many of the aspects of kibbutz to make it the kibbutz 2.0 with WeWork. That's a typical example of a, of a deviation. So here you don't really need to be highly creative, uh, but you need to find this uh, uh, capacity to connect two environments which are not supposed to be connected. Um, so this is uh, through our thinking that we make that happen. Well, thank you very much, uh, Sylvain Bureau. And for those of our viewers who would like to know more about deviation, you wrote a short introduction to deviation in your latest book, which is called Free Your Pitch. It has been published recently by Person. Thank you very much. Thank you.